Ladies and gentlefolk of the internet, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are leaving Good Springs. Well, not really. Well, we're kind of leaving Good Springs. It's sort of complicated, really. Um, you, motherfucker! You'd be using your sledgehammer, my dear fellow. Um, we've got kind of things to do, really. I mean, let's see. Everything seems to be in order here. I wouldn't mind grabbing some 357 rounds from places. We've just got odds and ends really that need taken care of at this point. Um, do you have anything that needs dumping? Motherfucker. Yeah. So, you know, obviously our player home is here in Good Springs, so you know, we'll be back here fairly regularly, I imagine. But, uh, yeah, main point is... We've defended Good Springs from the Powder Gangers, and in many ways I feel like that's kind of the game's unofficial prologue. Over and done with now, really. Um, the rest of the world has sort of opened up to us at this point. Um, so, if, at some point, we're going to be heading out to Prim. Um, however, that's the me next major stop on our journey to New Vegas, but... Um, I would also like to go and check out Vault 40, and you know a few other locations around here. There are some NPCs, I think if we talk to Sergeant Arcus again, <laughs> she'll probably tell us about some of the places we could check out in the region. Um, we're not in a rush, we might as well take things slow. Go do a bit of scavenging, find some neat gear, that kind of thing. We're going to need to build up our strength before we confront this, well, these guys that shot us, so, you know... Uh, let's see, small guns. Already got a 9mm in there, so how about we repair it before we stash it away? There we go. Now, is there anything else? Anything else at all that we could do with just shoving in a cupboard somewhere? Uh, looks okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let me just check. Workbench parts. Mm, sorted ammo. Aha! Should be taking those. Now I've got a cowboy repeater to use them with. Hmm. And, uh, I'm gonna... How many gecko steaks have we got right now? More than enough. That's fine. Uh... I believe we've got some purified water as well. Let's make a trip to the springs while we're at it too. We're kind of thirsty anyway. So yeah, that's I think our first stop. Let's go check out Vault 40. Let's go check out Vault 40. And, you know, while we're in the area, while we've got a nice little home base to work from, I think we should exploit the immediate area surrounding Good Springs as much, as much as possible before we start moving further afield. I won't be fast traveling much, if at all in this LP because I don't like fast traveling and given that I lack any kind of mod that allows me to fast travel in a sort of more law friendly manner I'm not using the 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 mobile truck home mod for example on account of the fact that I just did it, uh, it reminds me too much of the mystery machine from Scooby-Doo and therefore I can't take it seriously <laughs> but um, you know there is one method of pseudo fast travel, which is added by a world of pain, and I don't really—I won't spoil it. But for those of you that played Morrowind, it is uncannily similar to the way the propylons in the in the the Dunmer fortresses worked. So it's that kind of a deal. Um, but it's 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 quite it's quite actually quite a dangerous way of fast traveling, but it does work. So. Our water bottles, and yeah, let's go exploring. Let's go on a bit of an expedition to Vault 40. Why not? We've got our useless carbine. <laughs> Fairly bloody useless. We've got our cowboy repeater, which is quite good. 9mm pistol, 10mm pistol, varmint rifle, recharger pistol. The only thing we're really lacking right now is some kind of shotgun. I'd like a shotgun. Honestly. Well, while we're on the subject of things I'd like, I'd like a suit of T-51B power armor and a Gatling laser, but, you know, we can't all have what we want. <laughs> so... 
Uh, yeah. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of a change to my mod setup as well. I have installed. Hello there. I have installed. Oh, it's multiple geckos. Oh, you just hold still. All right, our gun skill definitely needs some work. Uh. I've installed the Collision Meshes mod. I originally uninstalled it because when I tried to when I tried to start the game with it, the game crashed on on finishing the opening cutscene. It actually happened when I was recording the LP. I just sort of very surreptitiously edited it out, so you guys were none the wiser. I think, hopefully. Uh, but it did actually happen, and I didn't. I just aired on the side of caution, and decided right, fuck it, I'm uninstalling it. Um, but it could have just been a random thing, honestly, and it could not have been that that was the cause. And I've decided to give it another whirl simply because in that... Thank you. In that little firefight in Good Springs, I was getting very, very annoyed at wasting good bullets by trying to shoot a guy through a ruined house and getting and just pinging off an invisible wall. So that, re that really, really annoyed me. So I'm going to have a go with the Collision Meshes mod and see if we get any better results, because hopefully it will, because there's nothing that irritates me more in this game than invisible walls. Uh, I think we should be in the right spot. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, hello, look at that. You have discovered Vault 40. Oh god, this is probably going to be a disaster, isn't it? Well, at least I've got you. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, uh, let's see. Come up here and enjoy the view, man. Come on. There's a lot of wasteland out there for us two to cover. Question is, where do we want to start? Hello, what's that? Ah, that looks like the prison. Would it be absolutely inhumane of us if we cr cr you know, climbed up to the top of that hill there with a sniper rifle and started doing a bit of target practice? What do you think? Ooh, I don't know. It's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's see. Close quarters. What would be best? I suppose this, really. Crap at long ranges on account of it being a pistol and also because my energy weapon skill isn't particularly brilliant, but close quarters, blasting things in the face. It might not be too bad. Besides, I can always hide behind you. Um. Anyway. We haven't really had a good heart-to-heart, -heart, have we? Since our little battle at Good Springs. Motherfucker. You don't really say a whole lot, do you, Bert? Motherfucker. Hmm. Primitive, yet profound. How's the weather? Motherfucker. Couldn't agree more. Would you mind if I asked you some personal questions just to get to know you a bit more? Motherfucker. Tell me about your family. Motherfucker. How was your childhood? Motherfucker. Oof. Did you ever fall in love? Motherfucker. No. Did she break your heart? Motherfucker. <laughs> Will you ever love again? Motherfucker. Uh, do you regret your decision? Motherfucker. Yes, well, anyway. Motherfucker. <laughs> yes, an articulate individual. Cleverer than he lets on. Okay, Vault 40 it is. This is... Ooh, this could be a disaster, but we'll... Add just one cotton picking... How to get down there? Well, we'll deal with him later. Tempting to leave you outside, but going on, going all sneaky like. But frankly, if you're going into a cramped space, why not take a super mutant armed with a super sledge? Seems like the sensible thing to do to me. Jesus, is that a particularly? Yeah, it's a, it's a really big mantis. 
explosives crate. Oh my, hello! This has already proven to be profitable. I'll take the whetstone as well, why not? You'll be carrying all the random bits of repair parts, by the way. Um, you know what? Where is the, uh, here. Off you go. You first. Come on, matey. Oh, all right, you have to fun. double tap it. Gotcha. Well, you see anything? No? Okay. Well, we'll clear this place room by room then. I mean, what good's having a super mutant if you can't get him to go in first? Go on! Kill! Motherfucker! Right then. Pilot light. Hammer. All sorts of nice junk in here. Let's switch on the old pit boy light. Tin cans, not sure if... <laughs> not quite enough, desperate enough for those yet. A shotgun! Excellent! Any mesquite pod? Hmm, what? What? Bert, where have you gone? Oh, you, you've gone back to your brewery or whatever. Motherfucker. You know what? I've got a damned flashlight. Might as well use it. That leads down. That also leads down. Well. Having unlimited ammo is pretty cool when it comes to dealing with little critters like these. Has to be said, oh dear. It's more of them about though. Oh, watch your six there. I think he has anything to fear from mantises. Manti, I don't even know what you call them, but even so. Mantis Uthica. Those are reasonably valuable, might as well take them. Oh, hello. La Fantoma. Desk. Pre war book. Well, but why not? I think I think Sir Crumpington strikes me as the sort of fellow who would hoard books, pre-ward books, you know, just for the sake of it. Primary power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connect. Oh, I get that every time my internet goes down here, and it's the ISP's fault. <laughs> Marduk nine nine nine. Hard work is happy work. Not that I, I can't I can't exactly disagree. I rather enjoyed putting that school together. Uh, <laughs> My psychic looting sensors are telling me this one has things in. Like a metal detector or something. Well then. Diner. Armory! Aha, uh -huh, that's what I like to see. What does that say? Armory, yeah. Lower level quarters. Uh, armory. Let's make a beeline for the armory. Where? Can you stick a bit closer? No, you're as close as you'll get. Okay. Unless maybe I can get you closer in the dialogue. Motherfucker! Oh, dialogue works in strange ways in this game. Trust me, having programmed a companion AI before, it's a little odd. Uh, tactics. Motherfucker! How close are you following? Stay close to me. Yeah. Motherfucker! Got it, right. Motherfucker. 
Maybe that'll help. Uh, maybe a bit, but it's difficult to tell. Value 40. I weigh 2, though. Uh, it's, all the whole, it's the whole value to weight ratio thing, isn't it? Alright, something wants us dead. Don't know what, though. You know what, having you following me around in a ruined vault is giving me all sorts of Fallout 3 flashbacks. Very hard. The, the armory is locked. Oh, that's just not on. That's just not cricket, Bert. Can't you smash it down or something? Well, you never know. Let's have a look. <laughs> Relax. Use crafting station. Loot pick, hotkick, lock pick, detect, disarm. Aww. Oh. Heal, repair, attack, target. No, can't attack the door. Oh, bother. Fine. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do about that, frankly. There's probably nothing we can do about it unless we get our hands on a mini nuke or something we can rig to explode. Because it's probably what it'll take to get through there. Damn and blast it. The armory. What else have we got then? The diner. Oh. Wednesday is bingo night in the diner. Is it really? What is what day is it today? Out of curiosity. <laughs> it is I don't know. Whatever. It's rather typical really, the one part of the vault that's actually worth looting, it's sealed off. I'm not even sure why, really. I mean, this place has obviously been abandoned, you'd think. They would have, you know, one of two things happened. Either there was a big mantis outbreak and they ate and killed everybody, or... Uh, they just up and left. In either case, you'd think they would have unlocked the armory and got all the guns out first. Vodka. Not really my thing. Glass of scotch wouldn't be so bad, but uh, I don't see any of those lying around, and we certainly don't drink while we're on the job, do we now? No, sir. Like I said, we're professionals. Hmm. Oh, really? Is that is that it? Got to be more to it than this, aside from the locked armory. No, they were the lower quarters, weren't they? I don't think we went down there. There's this. Oh, the toilets, lovely. Any drugs in the toilets? Seems to be a recurring theme in these games. <laughs> Classroom. Are you hearing weird whispery noises? Is that just me? Bert? Oh, there you are. What the hell? He's sneaky for a super mutant, too, in case you hadn't noticed. What have we got? Yeah, this is the locked armory. And the. Why does it say armory this way when there's clearly a bulkhead in the way? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Okay, here we go. Come on, a bit closer, matey. Oh, I didn't realise that was the zoning door, actually. I thought it was just a regular one. Avenge something. We will never know what. Oh! Good heavens. Thank you for getting to him before I noticed him. Excellent! Level ups for everyone. Vault 40 Trooper. Hello. Plasma pistol, energy cells. Drained energy cells. Hmm, something. 
Things are beginning to make a little bit more sense, or at least some sort of explanation needs to be beginning to form. Officer's uniform. Hello. DR2. Well, that's rubbish, isn't it? But. Hang on a minute. Wanderer's leather armor doesn't have any D DR listed for it. What's that about? Wait, I know it has 12. I'm sure it has 12, because I remember seeing it had 12. But the UI is just being strange. Officer's uniform. AP plus. What was that? AP plus 20. Charisma plus 2. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> I look like freaking General Patton. I'll be damned. Is this an army vault then or something? Curious. Oh, it suits you, doesn't it? Definitely suits him. But, uh... I think we'll stick with this for now. I think I'll keep that, actually. I don't think I'll leave... I'll sell it or anything. I'll just hang on to it because it's cool. Ah, five, five, six ammo. Excellent. Service rifle upgraded springs. Oh, no. Anything else I'm missing? It's quite easy to miss things. For me, anyway. I'm an unobservant idiot, so... Okay, things are looking a bit grim. Bloodstains and children's cots. Never a good combination. BBs. No, thank you. Oh, pre-war book. I know that pre-war books you could obviously use for a quest in Fallout 3. I have no idea if they're actually useful for anything in this game, but I'm just collecting them because... Why not? Basketball. True police stories. Do you want a basketball? Bert, you'd be pretty good at basketball, wouldn't you, actually? You've got the height for it. Okay, no, already been in there. Getting, getting a bit lost again. Sense of direction is failing me as usual. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Kindly don't push me out of the way like that in future. Oh, chat. This weapon is in poor condition. Oh dear, yeah, it is, actually. That's not good. Kind of wish I had some brass knuckles or something, to be honest. Oh, 40 trooper. VSS Vintores. Hello! Oh, excellent. Right then, well, uh, <clears throat> Lockpick wouldn't be bad. Explosive guns, energy weapons. Yeah, I think might as well make a start on energy weapons. Upgrade speech a bit. This doesn't seem like a very pressing concern right now, but you never know when you're going to get ambushed by the goddamn speech check. So, you know. Oh, we better switch to something that's not quite as badly damaged. VSS Vintores. Oh, it's a suppressed weapon, holy. Look at that thing! Oh, I'm liking this. I'm really, really liking this. Shame it uses 5.56 ammo, but... God damn, that's a nice gun. Very, very nice gun. Cool to have something around for stealthy operations. For now, though... Uh... All of these seem like a bit of a waste on, you know, mantises. Uh, guess I'll just go in armed for a bit. Go punch a few mantis. I'll 
whatever we're gonna we need to agree on a term for these things really don't we we need to agree on, agree on a term and I don't know what that's going to be because Manti sounds wrong and Mantis sounds really awkward hello I almost missed you Old 40 officer officer's uniform I suppose I might as well repair. <laughs> oh dear. Just swap out the tie or something, I don't know. It's worth 300, isn't it? Bloody hell. Still, like I said, probably not going to sell it. It's like a, it's a museum piece, really. Distracting. Not for the officer. Vault military trench coat mark two. Hello, D DT eight. Charisma plus one, critical chance plus five. Lever action shotgun. Vault forty armory key. Yes. Excellent. Combat knife. Ah, oh, I'm beginning to wish I'd picked melee now instead of an arm, but never mind. Just think of the power fists. Think of the power fists. That's, that's what will make it worth it in the end. Give me some T-51B armor and a power fist. And we'll have a lot of fun. Let's maybe not run around with our fists out in front of us like a twerp, but... That's interesting. Oh, D DT definitely goes down wearing it, but <laughs> not to know really. <laughs> I kind of can't make up my mind. Sort of I can't decide whether it fits perfectly or whether it looks ridiculous. It's a tough call, honestly. I think what it's missing is a hat, really. It needs a matching hat to make it work. Whatever, I'll hang on to it for now. It's also worth plenty of money, but I like the fact that it's got some DT on it, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm getting kind of attached to the leather armor. Like I said, it's got that classic Fallout vibe. Now, is there anything else down here? Looks like there is. Okay. What is this? Empty syringes. Capsules full of something. Right, this is just, this is not suited to the little situation here, is it really? This is better. Empty scalpel. Mm, you know what? You know what our place is missing. We're missing a couch. That's what we really need. We need a couch. We need a freaking sofa for our schoolhouse. That's what we need. Damn it. You should have got upgraded my lock picking. Uh right. Well let's back up a bit. Yeah, just through down here a bit further, mate. Come on. Bert, thank you. Let's give this a try. What have we got? Dynamite? Yeah, plenty of that, so no harm in giving that a go. All right, calm down. It didn't work. Maybe another one. No dice. What about something slightly more powerful? Frag grenade. Damn it, blast it.
can't even see through all this haze, can I actually? There we go. Ah, I give up. Never mind. Yeah, that thing's staying locked no matter what I do. Whatever. Let's go check out the armory, shall we? Because I think we're done down here. Yeah. We pretty comprehensively searched the place. Well, you know what? Armory just has sort of big bad boss fight written all over it, really, doesn't it? So let's, let's, <laughs> let's maybe not use our fists. A bit like the giant mantis queen or something in there. Let's let's uh... this will probably do the trick. An old lever action shotgun. Well, okay, looks like the place has conformed to common sense, and because the door was locked, there's therefore nothing in here. Fair enough. What do we got then? Heaps of repair parts and things. Rifle powder, nice. Okay, go hide belts. Why not? Let's make them while we're here. And some. Can we break down this useless to us? Break down scrap metal to lead, but I've got more than enough of that already. Uh, yeah, that's all kind of useful. Let's make a bunch. A bunch. Let's make one. Wait a minute, did I just make a five? I meant to make a five, five, six millimeter round. Let's break down those and make. There we go. Pickaxes, a caravan shotgun. Got two of these. Definitely prefer the lever action myself, but. Well, maybe we'll find a big explosive in here we can use to get that safe open. Who knows? A broken lift. Hmm. Just double check I'm not missing stuff. You know what? Just. No, oh, that's not helping either. I'll just switch on this. It's the, the flickering. It gets on my nerves a bit when you're looking at stuff close up. It actually makes me start to miss things. Alright. Oh, have we got all of these then? Nice. Damn it. There's probably not much in there, is there, really? Got an easy lock, but... Maybe a missile or something like that. Probably nothing too impressive. Question is, can I get up onto this upper level? Let me stay put for a minute, old chap. I'm going to see if I can. There's stuff up there, alright. Look. Uh, aha. Here we go. Bit of platforming, eh? And load. Ooh. I'm assuming that's probably good. Seems a bit of a waste to just put one 10 millimeter round in there, but then again, I suppose it's just the things have been had had most of the ammunition removed, and there were just a few rounds knocking around in the bottom of the thing. Ah. Oh god, hang on a minute. Do I have any locksmiths readers? I do. I probably could get that fucking safe opened. Ah, I'll go back down there if I remember. 10mm pistol mark 2. Hello. Damage 25 versus damage 22. Oh, Alright. I repaired it quite a lot, that did actually. Damage 26. DPS is 64. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Crates I can't do anything with. Metal shipping containers that I can't do anything with either. Any 
Little goodies hiding around. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get this open with a magazine. Uh, do, 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 do. Programmer's Digest. Got loads of these, so might as well. Signals! Nought of seven! My god! Replenish my allowance. That's kind of what I was looking for with these brackets. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so signal was naught of seven. Signals, rather. Outrage. Oh, it won't be that. It's almost we've really got the A. Sparing. Nope. Prisons. Nope. Jutting. J U T T I. Yep, yeah, could be that. There we go. Exact match. Sweet. What kind of a password is jutting, anyway? Armory Master Log 1. Right, hold on a second. And I'm back. Okay. Apologies for the break there, but, you know... When 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 nature calls and you're faced with a whole heap of logs to read, it makes sense to go when you, when you need to go. <laughs> Just get it out of the way. Armory Master Log number 1. Whoops. I accidentally just erased all the logs on this terminal. Greggs will kill me if he finds out. He had stuff from his great-grandfather on here. Shit. I must have triggered a reset when I moved it up. Turns out no one cares about the computer. All anyone is talking about is how to get out of here. Damn those Vault 41 bastards. And they, and they say we attacked them. What the hell are they on about? We are low on everything, and now Greggs says, well have to blast our way out. How the hell are we supposed to blast our way out of a nuke-proof vault? Geckos. Hundreds of them. We lost 15 people today. One of the blasts blew a hole in a near, into a nearby cave and the damn things came running in straight away as if they had been waiting for this moment all along. They killed four before we even got to our weapons. In the end, we had to blow the cave entrance and seal ourselves in again. This is becoming a real nightmare. Why would Vault, vault War 41 do this to us? First geckos, now mantises. There you go, mantises. There it is. It's, it's, it's written on the computer, therefore it must be true. What next, fucking squirrels? They began crawling in from a crack that had opened up near the general's office. Only a little, only little bastards, but they still managed to take out Anders, our chief medic. Greg's and Lewis' team are holding them off with small arms and the flamer at the moment. On the plus side, Harkins reckons that the dig team have nearly reached the surface. We may just get out of here yet. Shit, what was that? Another explosion? I'm gonna go check this out. Yes. Well, he obviously didn't get back from that. Okay, well. Motherfucker. Okay, I could get that open. I could get the safe open. It's really a question of which I want to do. Maybe I could do both, if I just sprinted down there. Ooh. Alright, we'll give it a whirl. Ooh, there we go. 20 gauge slug, right. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Oh shit, which way, which way, which way? This way, I think. Storage. Do we even go in there? I can't remember now. Uh. Oh god, I'm lost. Oh god, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go, right. right where was that safe? Damn it, it's worn off. Oh, never mind then. It's a bit gamey the way magazines just sort of get randomly consumed like that, but one can only assume the explanation is that Motherfucker. it. Uh, there you are. Um, it didn't contain any info on lock picking. Wait, it wore off again? I don't. Oh, never mind.
think we checked storage, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, no, 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 we didn't. Locked average. Oh, boy. So where are we getting in there? Armor cabinet. Officer's uniform. Another one. Lab technician outfit. And gecko meat. Timer. I'll be pit. More useful than you'd think, egg timers, actually. Not a toaster. <laughs> uh, why not? Whiskey. Bubblegum. Dirty water. Bent tin can. Empty crate. <laughs> well, interesting, but. Uh, not as interesting as I was actually hoping, unfortunately, but whatever. Of course, the more interesting something is, generally speaking, the more interesting the things guarding it get, so maybe we should count our blessings in that respect. Thing here? Shovel? Shovel. Right. Dear God! How long were we in there for? It's 12 a.m. Sweet mother of all that's... Whoa, okay, we're going to get home. Jesus. I did not... Re what time was it when we went in there? What's the, what's the freaking time set scale in this game set to, for that matter? Whatever. Not a bad haul. I didn't even have to start offloading things on you, actually, in the end. So we've got a load of random stuff. Might as well go dump that back at the house. And then we'll figure out where to go next. Frankie's guns and ammo. Is it, go is it going to be open? That is the question. My god, they provide 24-hour service around here. Fair enough. Well, I suppose let's get selling. Okay, sold a bunch of stuff we got from the vault in exchange for 506 caps, 34 308 rounds, 20, no, 54 20 gauge rounds, three weapon repair kits, and some mods drained energy cells for free. On the house. I can recycle them, so I'm going to keep them. Never mind, got to go. See you again soon. Yeah, I do bring in lots of nice stuff for you, so. Alright then. Lever action shotgun. I now have plenty of ammo for this this little thing now. I just it's just not in terrifically good shape. And now I face a bit of a dilemma because I don't know whether to use my weapon repair kits on the recharger pistol or the lever action shotgun. So Hmm. suppose the lever action shotgun would be better because quite often if I'm using the recharger pistol and something that something could quite easily be killed by punching anyway so yeah let's use all of those there we go now that's in some nice condition let's say I wasn't aiming it at you just in that general sort of direction not bad I like. I approve. I'm not sure I approve of the pit boy <laughs> just randomly appearing there, but yeah, not bad at all. I'd like a hunting shotgun, really, to be honest with you. A big tactical pump action jobby. Sort of thing that can blow, you know, super mutants to bits. Nothing, nothing, nothing personal, but. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Just come on, you. Let's go. Let's go home and uh, we're not terribly thirsty or hungry, but maybe we'll get some to eat. Sort all of our crap into the various toolboxes and shelves and all sorts of things we've got. And then to 
tomorrow morning, we shall... I don't know, really. What shall we do? I'll figure that out later. I'll figure that out later. It'll be fine. Oh, you know what we could do, though? We could repair Trudy's radio for her. I did forget to do that. I think I've got enough repair skill for that now, so... Collect the caps from her in the morning. And switch it off. There we go. Oh! Speak the devil. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio, madam. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Oh, tempting. No, we'll be a gentleman about it. Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Unless... Yeah, unless you've got a suit of power Be armor lying there. around, or, or Gatling laser, or, I don't know, 10,000 caps? That'd be nice. It's Doc Mitchell's house. He has a nice house, actually, doesn't he, Doc Mitchell? Don't you think? I think he has a nice house. I wouldn't mind a house like that. Not, not that there's anything wrong with our little schoolhouse, but, uh, you know... I don't know, something about it just sort of reminds me more of a bomb shelter than a house. I think it's because we blocked up all the windows. Okay, we're back. It is the following morning. I've sorted all of my inventory. I have made a bunch of ammo. In fact, I might need to go back and make a little bit more now, I remember. I, I got some free uh, cartridges from, from Chet at the store. I sold a bunch of random rubbish that I forgot to sell to Frankie. And in return, I got five canteens of water, which means that once we fill those things up, we won't actually have to worry about thirst for quite some time, because they automatically get used as we become thirsty, which is pretty cool. So, yes. And in the meantime, I've decided... Uh, I think we're going to press on to Prim. We could sit around here and ask Sergeant Arcus about more places we could explore, but frankly, I just want to move on with things now. Um... Rather than hanging around in the Good Springs area, and besides, uh, there's probably there's nowhere else we can really go in the Good Springs area at this point, other than north. There's it's, there's Prim or there's North, either towards Sloan, or towards the North 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 Road, with all the Casadors on it by the sounds of it. So don't really want to go to either of those places, so we might as well go to Prim in the end anyway. So yes, before we go though, we have about two thousand caps. However. I have a cunning plan, but I think I can, we can make more money if we play some caravan. And I've been reviewing the rules. I believe I understand how it works. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Ringo, hello. Thanks again for all your help. Would you care for a game of caravan, my dear fellow? Sure. Okay, right, now... <laughs> I have reviewed the rules, and I did play this a bit back in the day when I played New Vegas before, but I will probably lose, let's be honest. I just want to give it a go, because I thought it was quite fun. I like, for some weird reason, I like playing card games in, in video games. I like, I played the shit out of Pazak in, in Knights of the Old Republic as well, so... Um, here's bet 54. We shall raise the bet by... Oh, God. Okay, you now you can't raise it too far because otherwise the other guy will just say nope, no thank you. I am not betting two thousand caps on this. Uh, let's raise it by. Let's make it yeah. There we go. Accept. Right then. Let's yeah just randomize the deck. Play caravan. Here we go. So the idea is. You got three stacks of cards on each side, and you got it for those who don't understand how this works. You got three kit stacks of cards on each side, and you got to try and get more than twenty-one and less than twenty-six on each one to essentially get more than the other guys got on his, but within the realms of twenty-one to twenty-six. Um, it's quite simple, really, like that. So the PC controls are a bit weird for this game, though, it has to be said. Um, you have to use the. I think you have to use the cursor keys. I can't quite remember. 
cancel. No, uh, yeah. And, okay, yeah, I can scroll through them with the cursor key. So let's start off with... It's got to be either ascending or descending. So let, if we start off with a ten of clubs. And, yeah, there we go. We started off with a six of diamonds. So let's go with a ten of hearts. Normally I, I, I miss not being able to have the music on in this game because I'm not playing. Otherwise, now right now, I'd be sat here listening to the, the music. Although, knowing my luck, it'd just be Johnny Guitar for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so, oh, a bit of a shit bed of his on that one. So... I'd rather keep the seven of clubs for the, the ten over there, but... Uh, seven of diamonds? That could work. Right, he's brought it up to 19. Oh, why can't I place that there? Oh, no, I can. It's just being weird, right? Uh, this game could get quite advanced, and I'm, I'm not... I don't know enough about it to sort of bring, bring it to that level, but things like queens and jacks and things have other effects that I'm not really entirely sure of. In fact, I probably should look that up before I try playing a queen, shouldn't I, I suppose? Uh, um... We got three. Let's play that here. Probably going to lose. I've got to be honest. We're not getting very good cards here. Uh, Seventeen. If you add five to that, that gives you. 22? I guess that could work, because then if I had the 3, that would give me 25, which is a pretty good bet. Yeah, he's got 23 there. If I play this 3 on here, my math doesn't suck. Yeah, 25, so we'll probably get that one. Um, what else can we do then? Hmm. I kind of want to try playing that queen somewhere, but I don't know what it'll do. <laughs> Screw it. I don't think it did anything. Never mind, whatever. Five, we can put that here, can't we? Yeah. Another queen. Ooh, did just... Uh, mm. You win?! Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. I won through dumb luck. That sounds about right for Sir Dave, I suppose. But can we one twenty-five? Oh, hmm. I thought I was adding twenty-five to what we'd already. Oh. Again. Thanks again for all your help. Now I understand how the betting works. Uh, raise, yeah. Let's go on. Go on, let's go big or go home. Come on. Just randomize it. Whatever. Play. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay. We got a nine and eight. Ace, I do apologise if you don't actually like watching people play Caravan. Uh, but you can just skip ahead, I guess. Ten. It's a reasonable enough way to wait, make money, I suppose, so... Yeah, I'll start off with a ten. And add a nine. Two, two, can I... Ah, uh, no, cancel. I want to put the nine on. Oh, I've got to put one in each each thing, haven't I? Right. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Get my buttons mixed up. Fail. 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 Okay. Well, we could make an ascending one, I suppose. That's a little tricky to work. Make it work, though, isn't it? Um, try it though. Yeah, I guess we could dump this ace here. 
Okay, what does the jack do? It removes everything. Fuck. Okay, now I know what jack does. I'll save mine for later, I guess. Yeah, you can play shit on other people's hands as well, I think. Certain cards, anyway. Let's put that there. Okay. Put the 8 there. 17. Okay, and you can't play one of the same value. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Let's put that one there. No, no, I don't want a 2, for fuck's sake. I guess the only way places can, this can go is here. Oh, fuck. I'm really going to lose this one. Fail, fail, fa ah, wait a minute. Suck on that, Ringo. <laughs> I just have tiny cards now. Oh, I've got seven. Does that work? Oh, yeah, because it's the same suit. Right, you don't, it doesn't have to be ascending or descending if it's the same suit. I guess that works. Put it there. Some dream uh, 24. Yeah. Okay. This four is the same suit as that. Uh, fuck it. I could play the two there. That wouldn't really help me much, to be honest with you, though. I'll play the three, bring it up to 19, then the two be 21. Give that a go. Okay, we're winning two of three, which ain't bad. Again, I've forgotten what the queen does. <laughs> Play the ace on here. Gives us 22. Oh, you motherfucker, you're catching up. Right, it's just this third one we need to worry about now, really. You win! I am the best caravan person ever in the whole of whatever. We won 59 from that. I still don't know how that works, but fine, whatever. 59 ball caps. Suck it, Ringo. You're rubbish. You shouldn't have taught me. Now, I bet you're regretting it now, aren't you? You gave me that deck of cards, you silly man. What is this, anyway? Now hiring. Note added. Randall and Associates. Randall and Associates is accepting applications for the following positions. Bounty Hunter. Job Description. Pursue high-risk bounties on behalf of various clients, utilizing any and all means to apprehend and or terminate contracted targets. Job requirements. Should have experience with firearms, explosives or energy weapons. Check. Must be organized and self-sufficient. Check. Interpersonal ability is helpful but not essential. Check. An armed or melee skills a plus. Check. Moral flexibility preferred. Well, I did shoot a fellow in the back the other day, just on the suspicion that he might have been scouting out the town and not just getting a drink. Um, check! Pay benefits. Work at your own pace on your own schedule. The initial contract is 125 caps. Proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. Potential rewards include a custom revolver and duster. Ooh. To apply, see Stephen Randall at the offices of Randall and Associates. Decl disclaimer, Randall and Associates is not responsible for injuries and or death incurred while pursuing said contracts. Randall and Associates is an equal opportunity employer. Not very modern of them. I don't know, what do you think? Fancy becoming a bounty hunter? We could even give you the hat if you want. I don't know, what do you reckon? Motherfucker? I said you want to become a bounty member. I mean, bounty Motherfucker. hunter. I will take that as a yes.